Hello everyone, I'm Oliver Hill, and I'm delighted to welcome you to our channel. Before we dive into today's intriguing topic, I want to take a moment to greet you all and wish you good luck and success in everything you do. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to our channel so you can stay updated with our latest content. Your support means a lot to us. Today we're delving into the reported desire of King Charles II to mend his relationship with his youngest son, Prince Harry. However, it appears there's a catch to this reconciliation. King Charles II is reportedly interested in hitting the reset button with Prince Harry. This desire for reconciliation doesn't seem to come with the expectation of an apology from Harry. A friend close to King Charles clarified that contrary to some reports, Charles isn't anticipating an apology from his son. Charles is well aware of the resilient nature of the Windsor family, and Prince Harry is no exception. Therefore, the prospect of an apology from either party does not seem imminent. While Prince Harry is said to be on speaking terms with his father, he and his wife, Meghan Markle, aren't reportedly engaging in conversations with Queen Camilla or Prince William and Kate Middleton. It's important to note that King Charles' desire for a reconciliation seems to hinge on a quid pro quo arrangement with Prince Harry. The friend of King Charles explained that given the family's stubbornness and the current state of affairs, hitting the reset button depends on whether or not Harry can move forward without an apology. The friend posed the question, can Harry accept that he won't be getting an apology either? They also mentioned that Charles had authorized Jonathan Dimbleby to write a book that included critical details about his own life and relationships, but ultimately, those involved moved past it. This situation comes in the wake of Prince Harry's bombshell memoir, which likely adds a layer of complexity to the ongoing dynamics within the royal family. Meanwhile, a former Buckingham Palace staffer who worked for King Charles emphasized that there is a strategic need to resolve the estrangement between Harry and the royal family. They explained that it's not sustainable for the king, who symbolizes national unity, to remain on such distant terms with his son, especially when they haven't been seen together for years. This need for resolution is not just personal but strategic for King Charles. On the other side of this equation, Prince Harry has publicly stated his conditions for reconciliation. In January 2023, with the release of his memoir titled Spare, Harry shared what it would take to mend fences. In an interview with the UK's Telegraph, the now 39-year-old expressed his desire for a proper conversation with his family. He stated, The way I see it is, I'm willing to forgive you for everything you've done, and he wished for a sincere and accountable dialogue rather than being dismissed as delusional or paranoid. Furthermore, Harry mentioned his expectation for the royal family to apologize to his wife, Meghan, for the treatment she endured. In summary, the reported desire of King Charles II to reconcile with Prince Harry appears to be a complex and delicate matter. While both parties seem willing to move towards reconciliation, the specifics of how this will play out remain uncertain. The royal family's dynamics and public statements from both sides suggest that there is much to be considered and discussed before a genuine reconciliation can be achieved. What are your thoughts on this situation? Please share your opinions in the comments below, and let's engage in a respectful and thoughtful discussion.